little big picture. Sure. AI is going to open up all these doors. Yeah, Apple's going to be a part of this. The yep. iPhones, the MacBooks, everything's a part of yep. this, right? Yes, it's yep. all part of it. Microsoft yep. applications, the whole shebang. Yep. Specifically, when we speak to devices that are going to connect to cellular networks, mobility networks, I think this is where I stand. I'm not going to name any brands. I'm not going to name any carriers. But here's what I'm thinking. The carrier that has the most millimeter wave nodes, the carrier that has the most high capacity fiber circuits, the carrier that has the best density, the carrier that has the best redundancy and overlap, the carrier that has the most CRAN, the carrier that owns the most of its network, controls where the traffic is coming from and going to the most. That's who I think is best suited for these applications. So basically, right. Brian. So basically, but, Brian. Up, I didn't say no, names. I, 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 I did. I'll say it. Hold up. Hold up. I'll say it. Hold say it. Hold it. Hold Don't it. forget the chipset too. The X80 does 10 gigabytes for a reason. Hold basically, up. basically, Verizon. That's AT&T what's good there. has 75 percent of their core on AT&T fiber. 75 percent. Verizon has 50. So nah, that's why it's hold nah, up. That's why it's been hold up. Work cited, please. B no, bibliography, no, no. P, it's please. Not a, it's not a fact check. This is facts from the damn. Uh, Parenthetical citations. Call. All right, so, so I'd cite that, please. Put it in no. the put it in the chat. Well, no, but it, last, but it's, last it's, I checked, the 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 one fiber program got Verizon to fifty percent native. For right. Fiber. And AT and T is seventy five. Show me, show me, show me seventy five. No, so you guys, so you guys got there in like two he's years. Right. He's right. Uh, B, just letting you know. I can give you some sources later if need be. Yeah, but source it. I mean, it's fine. Just source it. I mean, I'm, that's fine. If, if so, he's right, he's right. I just want to see sources. But what I'm saying is, so again, that's why the debate, obviously it's not going to be T-Mobile because none of what Sneed was talking about, what Chacha Sneed was talking about, is even close to what T-Mobile is doing. But the debate could be had depending on where you are, if it's Verizon or AT&T in the mid to end game of 5g correct no because all the stuff that all the stuff that's need named and the only thing that you picked out was fiber okay no, fine no, no. if you say if oh, you no. say if you say fiber then fine there's about five or six things up there that at t does not have over Verizon. hold up who has the largest coverage in the united states what Max kind of coverage what kind of, what kind of coverage are you talking about talking about macro coverage be more specific. Oh, God damn. Square miles covered in the United States. <laughs> it's AT&T, correct? Right. So, again, we're, we're going to be we're gonna be talking about these minor, minor points. Come on, man. Let's be realistic here. Okay? I, I mean, don't, don't think of it really in cell phone and cell towers either, guys. That's not the way to think about this. The way right. to think about this is with, with OpenAI, you literally, no matter where you're at, you have the AI has to find you. you. You have to be able to connect to it and use it. It's not like okay, I'm in this remote area. No, I'm sorry, that's not going to be the case. You want to use AI, you better have a, you better be in the right place. You know. So, who has a denser network? Who has more millimeter wave? Who has more midband spectrum? Those three things I just mentioned, agency does not have more of than Verizon. Not at this time. So you can say your square mileage thing. Thank God, thank God for band 14. You can say your square mileage thing. You can say even your fiber thing. So be it. All right. There's There are many things that's need listed. And agency does not have Verizon in those things. So to Sneed's point, to Sneed's question, the network that is most able to handle AI at this time is Verizon. Right. I think AT&T will be okay. Don't, like, count them out. They'll be okay. It's, it, worry about T-Mobile. T-Mobile is pretty much screwed at this point. They don't have the capacity to support it at all. <laughs> well, they're you know, gonna, They're going to have to continue their uh, their their approach with, with EQT, you know, their investment into, uh, what was it called, Lumos? Yeah. You know, they're going to have to do exactly a whole lot. Doing this as well. They're going to have to do a whole lot more of that, and I think... Yeah, I think maybe getting access to those fiber circuits through those partners that might lead to something too eventually. But or even with that, answer. they still got to get mech. They still got to get intelligent edge. Well, they're like, not even close to those things. They're not they, even exactly. Nope. And and, nope. and to be honest, there's only been one carrier that's even spoke about those things at nauseum at scale. 
We're talking about one carrier. Nobody else has even cared. T-Mobile barely yeah. discusses it. AT&T barely discusses it. It's only been one carrier. Yeah, Verizon will be the leader in this. Um, so it's actually kind of funny that the mech, the mech and the um, edge computing was actually um, started back in... Why it actually started on that back in 2019. Uh, Verizon's got the lead, and they're going to be... Let, let's put it this way. They'll be the most happy. Verizon customers will be the most happy with the AI. Moose, do you think that at and is ready for these use cases? So you're going to be very surprised, especially with the Nokia to Ericsson upgrades that are going to be happening very shortly in multiple different cities, counties, states, parishes, you know, all that, right? Um, I mean, it's happening even in Sneeze Backyard right now. You know, mm -hmm. it's happening as we speak. Uh, Ericsson drastically reduces the latency to the cell site. When you do a speed test on a Nokia site versus a speed test on a Ericsson cell site, it's a drastically different experience. Okay, that's number one. Number two, okay, number two is there's going to be more CRAN. It's obvious. There's going to be much more steam rent. I mean, look at, you know, we got cities like El Paso getting 65 C ran this year alone. That's pretty damn good. That's pretty good. And that, that's from going from only three for three years going but to. That's, but that's right. going to have to scale across Correct. more metro areas, Moose. Correct. And then also, by the way, right, there's going to be more fiber being done by all the different ILEX and ISPs. Frontier Fiber, Cox Fiber, right? All these fiber providers. So, because we still haven't touched the ISP piece to this, guys. Right, right, Chacha? We haven't touched the ISP piece. Is cable ready for AI? I think I think they're they're <laughs> transitioning to that. I think they are. They are. <laughs> yeah, I think right. they are. I think they're getting to that level. I, you know, but it's all in the new generation of Doxus. Right. You know, and, and the fiber investment. They've been moving to fiber anyway, so they're ready. Right. You know, is fiber obviously ready for AI, low latency, everything? Yes. Cable in some areas. I'm not talking about Spectrum and Xfinity. They are definitely ready. I'm talking about like. Oh, the uh, regionals, the, the they don't regionals. stand a chance. They're not yeah, ready. Yeah, the regionals. No, right? they're not ready. No. Is fixed wireless ready for AI? Uh, Armstrong cable. You Armstrong know, you know, hold on a second, bro. <laughs> you know which fixed wireless is ready for AI? Verizon. Verizon's millimeter wave is ready. But because it all right. it all runs off of CRAN and millimeter wave nodes. But yeah, is T right. Mobile, that's what I'm trying to get at. Is T Mobile's fixed wireless home solution ready for AI? Absolutely. No. Not. No. Absolutely. B, what do you think I'm about using this? it right now and I'm having uplink trouble. No. B, what yeah. do you think about this? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I don't, I, I don't disagree at all. I mean, I think that you're right. I mean, T-Mobile is definitely the one that's got the most improving to do. Um, I don't know how they're going to handle this. To be honest with you, I don't know how they're going to. This is a lot of days. Well, I'm not even. Push. I'm not even joking. B, I could anticipate a customer care rep from T-Mobile recommending to a T-Mobile customer, "Do not try to use low latency applications with our service." It's not going to work well. Terrible. Because they don't have true priority access on that service. There's absolutely no QCI for it. You're, you're, you're bottom of the totem pole. There are free lines on T-Mobile that have higher priority than T-Mobile's home internet. And they have not launched Millimeter Wave yet. Where's that at? It's nowhere. It's very limited in distribution. Limited. And and I like that's the thing. You know, they they've talked about network slicing, but we haven't seen that parlay into something tangible on fixed wireless right. yet. So that's why I was, I'm trying to take it from a different angle, right? Because everybody's going to think, oh yeah, you know, the carriers, Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T, right? I'm thinking about it like, okay, hold up. What about the ISPs, including the fixed wireless ISPs? For example, is Starlink ready for AI? No. Is um, 
Uh, what else, what's the other one? Uh, Moose, do you know what yeah. the bottom line is? Go and ahead. this is what Zero Cool was saying. Capacity cannot be a question. It cannot come a point where the capacity isn't there. Because when the capacity becomes constrained, the latency spikes. Therefore, destroying the experience and degrading it. So yep, the questions true. about Starlink and all this, no way. Uh, you, you, right. Absolutely not. That is, that is a non-recommend. 